So here we are in our prayer week together and we're looking today at Psalm 139. Many of you will know it, the inescapable God. Oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. And it goes on later to say, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the furthest limit of the sea, even there, your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. This psalm is the inescapable God. It's the God of the omnipresence, this God that is everywhere. And that is, that is what, we, what we meet in the psalm. And I want to <laughs> tell you, I guess I want to confess to you um, that despite having dived into this psalm and looked at it and got excited that there was that this was the psalm for for this week i am um, here comes the great irony i have just read this psalm and begun to think a few thoughts and i'm on my way to pick up isla with the buggy um, and i'm doing that that i don't know if i don't know if you can relate to this those that have pushed a buggy before in their life um but um i'm pushing the buggy probably a little bit too violently down the curbs because Isla's not in the buggy yet, but of course you get those concerned looks from people and just kind of checking whether there's a child at risk. Um, there was no child at risk. I was just pushing the buggy a little bit too violently, a little bit too, um, running a little bit late um, and heading in to pick her up. And I'm rushing to try and stick on a podcast um, just to kind of get some thoughts worrying about this psalm and this theme and, and our prayer week. Uh, and something to share with you today and I'm wanting to kind of wonder and pray about it and and so to do that I'm trying to stick a, a, my headphones in to get there to get into the headspace and um, <laughs> and then I'm struck on this walk to pick up Isla in the buggy I'm struck that God is everywhere that I've just read this psalm of the inescapable God. And that has been the invitation this week in our prayer week, as we've had these little pop-up events. And we've just encouraged you to, to meet with God in any way uh, that you find you connect with him. To spend time in God's presence, that's been the invitation. And as God draws close to us, the invitation is to draw close to him. So I'm doing that slightly faster than a walk walk that's not quite a run <laughs> to pick up Isla and I'm hit by this invitation that God is here with me now and God is in the faces of the people that I'm passing. He's in the conversation that I pass um, between two teenagers that are dressed almost identically and I, I kind of have a little laugh to myself and remember um, doing that myself. He's in the breeze. He's in the smell of the delicacies, the Tibetan delicacies that are wafting through from the restaurant. He's in the grandfather walking with his grandson. He's in the paintings on the walls. He's in me. He is closer than my breath. And so I shove my phone away and I decide just to, just to be with God just to draw close to him. And it's worth saying, there wasn't any thunderbolt. I, I haven't got any kind of incredible insight to share with you. I didn't pray for a stranger. I just walked with Jesus and I noticed, I noticed my community around me. I noticed the tree-lined streets and I noticed my neighbours and I sensed God with me. It's that listening with our whole selves, isn't it, that we that we explored actually on Sunday. If you were around on Sunday when we were um, doing our Godly Play story, we explored this idea of listening with our whole selves. And it's something that our Aboriginal brothers and sisters, gosh, they've got so much to teach us about that. Listening with our whole selves. We heard on Sunday, we listen with our whole selves, with our bodies, with our minds, with our hearts with our imaginations and with our souls. And God's spirit helps us to know how to love, what to do and who to be. 
my favourite part of, of Jan's um, godly play stories that she, that she tells us is her hands. And it's not that Jan's got particularly spectacular hands. I'm sure she does. They're, they're beautiful, I'm sure. But it's it's not so much that um, that she has beautiful hands. It's it's what she it's a, a particular gesture she does with her hands, and it's that gesture of God drawing close, and we draw close to Him. And God is always drawing close, isn't He? He's always drawing close, and that invitation is for us to draw close to him. And so I just wanna, I guess, close off our little mini talk, maybe a little bit differently, just to invite you to, to come now and draw close to God, the God that is always drawing close, the God that is everywhere, the God that is inescapable, the God that is here now. So why don't we do that now? I'm, I'm just going to simply invite you to take a few moments to let God look at you. And then I'm going to read the psalm. And, and perhaps wherever you are, you might just want to stop and let, um, yeah, and draw close to the God who is drawing close to you, wherever you are, wherever your day has taken you. So just for a moment, let's let God look at you with his long and loving gaze. Psalm 139, the inescapable God. O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, oh Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's so high, I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the furthest limit of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed me, my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the, in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O oh God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I, came, I come to the end. I am still with you. And so, as the God who is always drawing close... Uh, draws close to you. May you today draw close to God, the inescapable God, the God who is everywhere.